So we have ARM here at the ARM TechCon 2012. What are you showing here? So here we have a TC2 test chip 2. This is a, a dual core Cortex A15 with a, a triple core Cortex A7. So what we're showing here is our big little uh, technology, the heterogeneous multiprocessing uh, solution mixing uh, high performance large cores with um, much more power efficient small cores. So is this the Versatile Express? Are there different versions of this or it's kind of like the standard one? Or yeah, it's different actually? versions of the board but this is like a, a, a kind of internal version. Um, it's actually just become available recently for, for purchase by customers. Can you um, open it up and show the secret stuff inside? Um, we can, yeah. Do you need screws or is it easy to open? Uh, it might be screwed down. But uh, is it really actually like a, kind of like a tape out? Oh yeah, it's real silicon. Yeah. Silicon, real it's silicon. silicon tape of a, it's silicon of a silicon of a dual core A15 and a three core A7. So at the end of the video, maybe we we'll open up. So uh, uh, does the software basically work or or is still like a? Uh, the solutions are all there for Big Little? Yeah, it's all there and we have, what we're showing here is two different solutions actually. So on the uh, right hand side we have uh, what we call CPU migration. So with CPU migration uh, you have a task that's running on let's say an A7 and if it needs more performance then it will actually migrate from the A7 to an A15 core. Um, and that can be done on a per core basis. In other words, that would move from an A7 onto an A15. Um, on the other hand, on the left-hand side, we have a different solution, what we call a true heterogeneous multiprocessing solution, uh, where you have a, a multi-core system, like an SMP OS. It has five CPUs in this OS, three of them small and two of them big, and it can schedule tasks across uh, multiple cores according to the demands of, the, of each process. So you can actually have all five CPUs running simultaneously in, the, in this solution. So this is, this is running in the heterogeneous multiprocessing yeah. with a five core SMP, big little, and this is running by swapping tasks from CPU to CPU. So those are two different strategies? Two different software strategies, just using the same hardware. So two different concepts or two different, how do you call it, uh, ways of yeah, using two, two, two different approaches. Yeah, I mean, the advantage of this solution is that it can be done without any modification to the OS. Uh, so it's this very, is just like now? Yeah, so this, this, this is today. easily done. I mean, this actually works now as well, but this took a lot, lot, lot more effort to get going. And this running is running only on Linux and Android right now. So what so, kind of effort is there? Is that Linaro working there on that? Yeah, so, so this is running on a Lara, Linaro OS distribution, yeah. So it's uh, some kind of Linux Ubuntu or something? This, this is actually running, uh, yeah, it's running on Linaro. So what is the advantage? Is, there, is one of these better or...? Um, we, were just, we were talking about that earlier on. Um, it's impossible to say that either one is better in every case, but in general, my gut feel is that the, this uh, SMP solution is likely better. Likely um, more efficient? Likely more, more what? Yeah, basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to run all of the low performance background tasks on this little processor, um, and then you just fire up the big processor when you have some high performance application, the, the typical one being rendering a web page. Because you're rendering a web page, you just want it to render as quickly as possible and then yeah. stop. So um, which one is this running on? So right now this is plugged into... Is there a mouse for it or...? This, this is plugged into this one, I believe. Yeah. Is there... Uh... Hang on. So now you switch from one to the other, maybe? Yes. So that actually was running on, running on this one, so it's yeah. now running on the, the mouse processing one. So maybe the mouse, no, one of these is connected. But uh, is everything optimized today in here, or is this just like a early development uh, silicon and box and board and software? And um, no, I mean, this is actually real silicon. It was a test chip built for our own uh, you know, our own development purposes. Yeah, it's probably not as optimal performance as you would get in a real consumer product, but it's it's full speed silicon at a reasonable speed. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, nice. So people can go on the internet, download this Linaro software, and get uh, one of the Versatile Express and test test it out.
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was trying to get. Uh, trying to get. Trying to. So here's a versatile express. What do you call this one? Well, this is the the TC2 board. TC2 test, two. test chip two. And uh, under here, I can see. I can zoom in. Yeah, and that's I can the focus on. Uh, Oh, I can focus. It says ARM. This is uh, Cortex A15 with uh, three Cortex A7. Yeah, three A7s and two A15s. And what is this ARM over here? So this is a Cortex M3 um, system control processor, SCP. So this controls all the uh, power management and resets. It brings up the it brings up the main CPU. Yeah. These are all the ports. Ethernet. What are these uh, two over here? Some kind of ports for. Uh, some old keyboard mouse maybe or oh no this is I think this is um, an expansion port for um, for additional uh, prototyping of peripherals bringing out an amber A side interface nice and you have SD card is that what you call JTAG, JTAG or yeah that's a JTAG um, debug interface yeah and this is a little fan but that's because it's uh, early or I don't know just, uh, yeah, it's like an early test chip, and yeah. you know, it hasn't really been optimized for, for, for power management. It's basically to get silicon as quickly as possible and verify it, and particularly verify the the, uh, the big little approach. Nice.